nerd fans out there, it's Mr. Chill here, and let's talk about some Dark Knight Steel issue six. Tom Taylor's greatness continues. Because this story was definitely a build up. It was built up to what could be the future, like what's coming, the war of the storms versus Kyle Al. And where we left off last time, we found out Superman. The prophecy is coming to true. Constantine's prophecy of um, basically the Kyle family is taking over the world with their powers, with their strength. Because uh, we see how crazy Supergirl is killing all uh, the storm. Like basically uh, kills the, the king, the storm king, um, Jefferson, and his son. Drew killed him right in front of him. Dropped him right off the building. And oof, like I said, this story... Dark Knight still is so awesome. It's got that Game of Thrones vibes. I've been hyped ever since. And we basically leave off uh, with like Constantine. Um, kind of, um, there was a, a spy in there, Tim Drake. One of the uh, Robins of Batman's group basically was spying on the Jefferson. But he was like seeing that like, they're not that bad people. The Storm family ain't that terrible. They were nothing to fear for. They were just basically being the normal family. Until they heard the prophecy that Kyle Al was going to be, they were going to take over the world. Constantine, Constantine told him. And Constantine loves Jefferson. He actually, not just as a king, but he had feelings for him. That's why he was mourning him. He felt like when he, he found that Tim was a, a Robin, he basically told the whole kingdom, yeah, he's a spy. And he, they're right away, they were attacking him. He almost killed him. Like, damn, but they let him go. Tell him the war is coming. The storm's gonna go after the Kyle. The Amazon's gonna go after because they, they always the, the Kyle family. I mean, the Amazons always team up with the Storm family, so they'll go by the double team the Kyle family. They know how powerful he is, and definitely we see how Superman basically almost killed Bruce Wayne because they're that's what's so cool and awesome about the story. Basically, Bruce Wayne is his brother, half brother, and he has um, Superman's powers too, and that's what's awesome, and. We got more, like, just, uh, it's weird as well. I wonder, is, I wonder if um, the Cow family, Supergirl, and Superman are really terrible. Are they, the main villains in the story, are they really bad? Because just the feel, they fear, like, they're not doing nothing wrong. They need to do these crimes. Like, Supergirl gets caught. When Tim Drake comes back with reports what um, the Storm fan has been doing. He said to prepare for war. And because the whole, the whole war the whole war started was because Supergirl killed the king's son and killed the king from everybody. And it was her. She didn't. She's admitting it. she didn't kill nobody. She didn't kill no kids. She didn't kill nobody. And her love interest, Diana, one woman, believes her. Everyone believes her. And like he, she even believes herself. Like, you really believe that you... You're putting this act on. That's what's weird. Like, did she really do it? It's Supergirl and Superman. It's this weird seeing Superman and Supergirl being this evil, being killing people, trying to do stuff in this world, being this quick. They're always being known the good guys. What's crazy about the story is cool. I love it. It's bringing this mystery. Did they really do it? We all saw it. All the readers saw it. We saw Supergirl killing these people. And we see Superman, what he did to Batman, basically try to kill him. Because even Superman goes all the way to go, basically go talk to the Amazons um, and convince them not to fight this war, not to fight against the Kyle family. He even got stabbed. He's not going for a while. He's not trying to kill anyone. He's trying to not go fight. And I was like, whoa, he's not being ruthless. Um, he then basically um, gets Lois Lane. Well, he gets stabbed by uh, Deanna's mom um, and he gets captured. Britannic catch. He go break out and but they're using Wonder Woman's lasso. Wonder Woman's lasso on him, like you can never tell a lie. And he even believed when he asked him, Your sister killed um the king's son and him. Um and he believes no she she would never do it, she would never kill anyone. But that wasn't really the answer, but he, he believes that she would never do these crimes that she commits that he she committed. And just and we find out Constantine's doing a little black magic on the side too. He is something Entergon. This was pretty cool. It's pretty cool. We said get Entergon. If you don't know the Entergon, Entergon, I, I can't pronounce his name, but a demon uh, that always talks in riddles. Uh, Entergon, I can't pronounce. Please forgive me. But anyways, he summoned the demon 
and Turgon, uh, and guess who he is, who his human form is, who is basically, because he's always, he basically, he's a demon, plays, uh, he possesses a human, and one of the human he's possessed is Ra's al Ghul, and that's what's dope. Um, he possesses, Ra's al Ghul's in here, he's doing the same old, same old thing, he's a league of assassins, he's, um, he thought Constantine wants to be assassinated to Kyle, as they said, it won't be part of this war, but he actually wants to use his magic, his magic, kind of like Lazarus pit, bring back people alive. He thought he could bring Je the king back, but he can't because there's a base. He's a heart's missing. He needs his whole body. He needs every part of his being together, basically, to bring him back. Um, so he couldn't bring the king back, but he could bring back his son. Um, yeah, uh, Jacob. Yeah, his son, Jacob. Jacob could come back to life, but you know the price of that, he won't come back fully. He will have kind of like a possessive mind, demon magic and all that shit. But there's something that, that interested me too. I want that the deal is if he brings back the king's son, Jacob, he wants uh, the Titans. I wonder who the Titans are. I'm like, whoa, what's this? Sounds like intimidating. Kind of weapon. The Constantine knows where the Titans is. Just tell him where the location he'll kill himself and he will get that. I don't know what the Titans are. Sounds interesting in this world of knights and magic. But it's really crazy. It's getting more deep. We're getting to the war of the end. When the end of this arc, they're saying that uh, Clark was trying to stop all this, but it didn't work. The Amazons are already at the war, basically going at their kingdom. They're about to march and go war with all the Kyle's. And it's going to be epic. Like, we got the Storm family. Going all at it against Cal. We got the Amazons going all at it. And we got Bruce. He's still got, he's in the picture. He's uh, with the Kent family. Because the Kent family picked him up after he got beaten down by Superman to um, patch him up. Um, and hopefully he could, um, he's probably going to summon his force. Because that's usually, that's originally his kingdom. His dad was got off from his seat. Superman, before Superman, um, uh, dad died in front of Bruce. He was gonna give him the seat of the castle because he was this was his rights. His family owned this castle, it belonged to him till he was a right for age. So, this was his her heritage. So, that's what's crazy about. And I wonder how his mom knew too. I wonder, um, Superman's mom knows that Bruce is a cow too. He is part of uh, he was, um, damn, I forgot what Superman's father's name is. Uh, Zoro, no, it's Zoro. Uh, damn, well, Superman's dad's basically, yeah, you know, Superman's dad's basically Bruce's dad as well. That's what his really son because um, Batman's father couldn't have kids, so basically, they had a fair, Martha, uh, had a fair with um, Superman's dad, and he had Bruce Wayne in this world. That's what's pretty crazy. It's pretty cool. This story is amazing. Can't wait for the bigger war. I think there is only 12 issues. Yeah, 12 issues. Love Tom Taylor's. I, he does great work creating his own world. And that's what's so awesome about it. When he creates his own world, creates his own stories, not doing, oh, I have to follow their their little series, I have to follow all their rules and everything. No, with him Food Patrol, do whatever you want. Here's the story. Use the characters uh, however way you want it. Like with Deceased, like uh, Injustice, like in um, and Dark Ages, and then Dark Steel now, Dark Knight Steel. Awesome. I love when he creates his own little story and have fun with the characters. I kill you, do you, or you play this role, you play that role. Pretty cool. He's coming out with DC Three. That's gonna be awesome. But he's doing good with his solo issues as well. Like he had a great run with the Wolverine, the all new Wolverine, when he did Marvel and uh, Nightwing story. And did he do anything else? Oh, I'm trying to think. Any more solo issues? Oh, the Suicide Squad run was awesome too. I loved it. But that concludes my video. If you're not checking out Dark Knight Steel, go check it out. Go support your local comic book store. And I can't wait for the next month. It comes out on May again. It's a monthly series. Damn, we got a long ways to end this Darkness series. Because it's just so good. It's Games of Throne level. In here with superheroes, with DC superheroes. Awesome. You're going to love it. All right, that concludes my video. Please hit the like button if you like my videos. And comment below. Let me know what you think of this story. Let me know what you think of Dark Knight Steals. Who's your favorite characters? Who are you going for? Are you, are you with the Storm family? Are you with um, the Amazons? Are you with... Bruce Wayne and his family, um, his family, the Robins. Uh, you want Bruce to become the king again? Are you with the Kyle's? You hope they take over the world? Or the evil? Are they good? Who knows? Comment below what you think of the Dark Knight Steals. 
um, story so far and give me your theories as well. I love theories. And talk to y'all next time. Have a good day and good night. And remember, stay nerdy forever.